overall come than our last time we played home. And um, was really proud of our guys on how we moved the ball. I thought we were detail oriented today defensively. Um, you know, came in. Uh, Cole is a great player. Uh, their freshman uh, Ian coming off a really good shooting day. I just thought our team was pretty uh, focused today after a nine, eight day layoff and coming off a disappointing loss. We didn't have a hangover of disappointment. Uh, so I was really proud of uh, how our guys competed. Uh, we had a big boost from our bench. I think our bench scored 30 some odd points. I thought Malik stepped in and we didn't miss a beat. Uh, if anything, I thought we got better defensively with Malik on the floor. Uh, and uh, you know, obviously Nate is, uh, is uh, two points waiting to happen. He was in the paint. So overall, I thought it was a good performance by our men. We have a really short turnaround before we play Albany on Tuesday evening, and then uh, you know we're off uh, west. So a couple more games, and hopefully we're rested and prepared. I'm kind of surprised that you played so well considering you got exam break and kind of sketchy practice schedules. Well, our guys have been pretty good. You know, we give them a little bit of rest, emotional rest during the beginning part of the week when you have that much of a layoff. We really concentrated on our offensive movement and ball movement, and I think that showed in the way the guys shared the ball. Uh, am I surprised by it? No, because in practice, I thought we had two really good practices prior to today's game. Obviously, with AJ being out, there was going to be a, a spot available in the starting lineup. When did you kind of tell Malik that, you know, that was going to be his opportunity? I think Malik has known that. You know, I think uh, game by game he's maturing. We're trying to get Malik to enjoy the process a little bit more and share his emotions positively. And when he does that and plays with a sense of joy and energy, he's a big lift for us. Don't forget, Malik's a junior. So it's not like you're replacing a freshman with a freshman. He's been in some high level games, he's had some success. So, I mean, it was, that was an easy move. Malik, have you kind of dreamed about, you know, this kind of opportunity, like, you know, being out there, you know, I think it was pretty close to a career high for you today, point-wise. Uh, not really. I just try to go by game and just play, take my role. And uh, I, I guess I came out with the uh, starting, and I think that, I think it just, I, my, my defense built it, and it helped it, the team. So that's what I came in to do. Oh. Eight and six is pretty damn good. It's really good. We won turnover. I always get concerned with him turning the ball over. And I tell him every day, just keep it simple, right? So that's my, I walk in the gym every day and look at Malik and say, keep it simple. It was that like an overall message to the team, Ed, over the last couple of days? You know, obviously with AJ being out, there's a gulf to fill in terms of points. But, you know, there's a reason why the, you guys are in the roles that you are in. Mm -hmm. well, we concentrated on moving the ball, you know. That was a big, big concentration in our staff meetings and in our preparation is body movement and ball movement. We thought the ball was stagnant. Even in some of the games that we won, we were fortunate to win with Oakland. I thought today the ball moved. I thought it had a good rhythm. I thought we had rhythm shooting. I thought we had open shots. Um, so it wasn't so much what Central Connecticut was doing. We were more concerned with are we improving. And I thought we had, I thought we achieved that goal today. Defensively, do you think you guys did a better job switching? We did. Yeah. Uh, you know, the ball stopped a lot based on the way we were guarding. And Cole, to me, is one of the better scorers we're going to play against, you know, with that type of size and his IQ. So I thought we did a decent job on that. Is the message to the guys that you're not going to replace AJ with one player? It's got to be a group effort. Tell you what, man, y'all got AJ in the NBA already. I mean, he's just an okay player. Uh, you know, we have some guys on our roster that do a really good job. Um, I love him. He's growing. But I'm not concerned with AJ Reeves right now. I'm more concerned with the guys that are healthy that are going to be playing. And, you know, with his ability to score the ball, there's give and take in that because there's some things fundamentally he doesn't, still doesn't know yet. Hopefully him sitting out and able to watch the game a little bit more, you know, he can learn and improve that way as well. Great player, wonderful kid, great energy. But, I mean, that's why you have scholarship and that's why you have depth, and I thought that played a big role today. Ed, do you think uh, Nate is doing a better job verbalizing, you know, mismatches, get me the ball down there? We've been on Nate since he arrived here. Um, Nate can be better, and when he thinks he's better, he'll perform better. Uh, he's he's really efficient around the basket, you know, very efficient around the basket. We try to give him the ball as much as we can. Uh, so I don't know what he's shooting from the field, but it's it's a really really high percentage. You know, I think he's going to score more often than not when he gets it in his sweet spot. So uh, we make it a concentrated effort to get him the ball where he's comfortable. Did you have to serve any reminders to the guys? after you went up 15, 20 points, that, hey, you know. 
that's a fair like question. That, that's an absolutely fair question because uh, at halftime, Coach Blaney says we've been in this situation before, and I thought our guys were a little bit more detailed uh, and focused in the conversation. We say hey, we've been here before. You know, we've been up big double digits, in particular the last game. So let's not let's not repeat a bad habit. Great question too. And did you feel like offensively the guys showed patience? There was that one instance in the first half where you had five seconds on the shot clock, he inbound, you get a good shot off, you get two points. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, um, we've been doing a drill in practice, and not to panic under 10. So I thought there was some carryover with that. Um, I thought our guys were really patient today, you know, and it was rewarded with high percentage shots. We always say you have to be able to make standstill threes and free throws. If you're able to capitalize more often than not, you're going to put yourself in a situation to win. And I thought we shot a great percentage from three and just an okay percentage from the foul line. For Malik or Nate, um, after the, the UMass game, obviously you had exams, you had a lot to balance, but what were the conversations like? You know, what was the talk like in practice, you know, the days after that, that loss and just trying to bounce back? Um, <clears throat> well, the, the practice, uh, practice was very uh, physical and fast paced, and uh, we knew we had the game. In a, in a week or so, we had exams. We had, we just had to bounce back and uh, show our physicality in this next game. Uh, yeah, I think we knew we gave away one, and the next practice, I think, yeah, it was very intense and physical. We just wanted to improve offensively and defensively, and I think we did that tonight. Ed, can you just talk about the lift that Makai gave you too. Yeah, I was really happy for Makai. You know. He's had his moments where he's been good. He had his moments where he has struggled. Um, but between Makai, Malik, and Isaiah, I thought those three guys gave us a lot of a lot of hope moving forward. Uh, it was a, bit, a confidence builder for Malik and, and Makai. And you know, I'm, I'm Isaiah's always steady Eddie. He's been our settle me down guy all year. But it, I was really happy for Makai seeing what he was able to come in and do and give us a big. Nate, you've been coming off the bench and scoring double figures quite a bit this season. How are you able to get into the rhythm of the game so efficiently? Uh, it starts before the game. I'm just out there shooting my free throws, getting my head ready, and we, all, we, all, we got each other's back and stuff. And uh, they, when I come in the game, they immediately uh, give me the ball. It's just, it's just fine, I guess. But then we all we, we have that chemistry together, and that's what I like. Nate, did you feel you could take over down there, down low? Just, there was that little stretch after the early in the game was 11-11, you kind of really dominated. Did you have a lot of confidence at that point? Well, yeah, I have a lot of confidence in every game. And then my teammates, they found me early. Coach called to play, found me. And uh, yeah, I just, I just felt dominant in this game. He's a big dude, man. He makes us look tiny. And me and you are not tiny. <laughs> Wish I was bigger. I don't. Coach, did you, did you guys need this one just to, this gets confidence going in the right direction? Um, Every win is an amazing win. You know, we definitely needed it. I mean, I'm pretty sure Central needed it. Anytime you're able to win a game, I don't care who you're playing against, it's a confidence builder. It's on the schedule. When you look around college basketball today with how much parity there is, there's a lot of people being upset in these type of games. I think many of us at this level take for granted that we're just going to show up and win. you got to go out and earn it. So this is like the best win of my life because it's the only win we had today. Great life win today. <laughs> Coach, cool opportunity to have the World Series trophy here. Today. Yeah, it was. You know, I mean, I'm a huge Red Sox fan. I'm a big Patriot fan. I can't wait for to go up and watch the game. I love, uh, <laughs> love the Celts, love the Bruins. So I really appreciate the Sox and their organization, Sam Kennedy, sending that down. Um, I love when our players from around the country are able to just, just look at it, and they're really, just, especially our Yankee fans. You know, <laughs> I'm on record to say I hate the Yankees. <laughs> Steve Napolillo, I hate the Yankees. <laughs> Just saying, go, go Red Sox. Anything else? Happy holidays.